It's a real pleasure to be here. I'm very grateful to the organizers to give me this opportunity to present our more recent work on what I will call a plasmonic nonlinear diode, but also to say a few words about the background, uh, why we came to that type of research. Now, before dwelling into the topic, let me ask you a question. Simple question, actually. Who among you plays Scrabble? So we have a few, that's very good. Now, there is a second question for you. If you play Scrabble, which set of letters would you like to choose to play Scrabble? Are you going to choose set number one here, all the consonant, or are you going to choose set number two with all the vowels? We can vote who is for the consonant. Which language are you playing? <laughs> Any language. <laughs> I guess this might be the French version. It depends on the, on the count. So not very enthusiastic. I guess what you would prefer would be actually to be able to use the full set of letters. And, and I can, of course, just agree with you. Uh, that's much, much better. You can do much more combinations. It's much more fun to play like that. Uh, you can also cheat more easily, probably, if you have all the letters. And, of course, we're not going to play Scrabble within the next 40 minutes. We're going to play Plasmonics. But I think the same question can arise. If you play Plasmonics, if you play Electromagnetics, well, would you be happy to just use this set of variables, just the electrical field? Or would you prefer to use just the magnetic effect, those ones? Or probably what will be the most exciting will be to use the full set, so use the comple complete Maxwell's equations. Not only simultaneously electric and magnetic effects per se, but really combining them together. Combining them together means going into coupling between electric and magnetic effects. So, for example, if you look at the dipolar response of the system, an electric dipole will be produced by the electric field through that polarization term. But you would also like to have the magnetic field produce some electric response through this um, off-diagonal term, so this magneto-electric coupling. And the same for the uh, magnetic effect. You like not only that the, electric the magnetic field here is going to produce magnetic response, but also the electric field through this term. So all this means, if you want to play the game with all possibilities in electromagnetics, you need to have bionosotropic systems or you need to have this coupling between electric and magnetic terms. And if you want to do that, this puts constraint on the geometry of your system. In that case, you really need to break the symmetry